Now, son, Daddy needs to teach you something very important about tells. Tells? When you tell them you only use the approved kit, don't look up and away, don't rub your neck, and don't touch your ear. Otherwise, they'll know you're lying to them, all right? Whenever you need to lie, just don't look up and away, rub your neck, or touch your ear. Dad, maybe we should just take out the thing you put in the car Son, and... you have to learn how to lie correctly someday. Might as well be today, all right? I love you, son. Shalom. Shalom. Koholayim la. Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechachradash, double honors to our elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Aquaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya'ai, from Yahawada. Back at it again with another beautiful lesson to the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And as you saw in the prior clip, man, it's supposed to be uh, comical, funny, you know, but we know uh, that uh, this man puts his um, his agendas, uh, what is that called, uh, productive program, if I want to say, if I'm saying, if I'm stating it correctly, if I'm not, forgive me. Uh, but basically, uh, uh, warming you up for things to come in the future. You know, they put all this stuff in their movies, TV shows, you know, uh, TV series, stuff like that, man. They put all this stuff in to, uh, to, to warm you up to the things coming, uh, that they're going to bring forth in the future, man. Uh, but, um, you know, this, this, uh, little clip right here from South Park, man, this is a pure example of them, uh, Training them, training their children how to be just like them, man. You know, as as you heard him say, hey, man, you got to learn how to lie sometime, and that's you know completely unrighteous, man. So you know, man, I ain't gonna talk too much on it, man. Y'all see what it is, man. Y'all, 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 y'all know what it is. So let's go ahead and get some scriptures on this. And uh, I don't want to write this out. Pray, and I hope that you edify from this. All right, so this is Psalms, Psalms chapter fifty-eight. <clears throat> So like, and let's read verse three. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, man. And there was a video not too long ago, maybe like a year, year and a half, two years ago, um, over there in um, either Britain, London, or England, where um, a lady was t asking her daughter about who, who ate the cookies, who did this, who did that. And her daughter said, I don't know, it was a black man. A black man broke in here and did it. And instead of her correcting her daughter and saying, no, that didn't happen, she just laughed. She had a great good laugh off of it, man. So they train their kids, man, to be just like them, man. It's in their blueprint, man. They can't tell the truth to save their daggone life, man. And even if you catch them in a lie, they'll still keep on lying, man. They don't care, man, because that's, that's who they are, man. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. This, this can't, this red... Cave Gorilla cannot tell the truth to save his life, man. Let's go here real quick. Let's go uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. And we're going to read verses 8 to 9. And it reads this. And then shall that wicked be revealed. And Yahabah Shem is revealing the wicked right now, man. Right before your eyes, man. Who 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 has a... a a, a track record that's that's reached to the heavens, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Okay? And so, you know, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is not coming off his throne and, you know, out here confessing. He's speaking through his prophets. Like we always say, man, we're just vessels, man. Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is speaking through his prophets, man. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, you know. So at the, the first thing has to go out is the word, man. Okay. We have to prophesy. We have to tell everybody what's going to happen. Tell everybody their judgments. And then when Yahweh Shem Yahweh sees fit, he's going to bring forth the judgment, man. Okay. Verse 9. Even him, okay, the wicked, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan. Okay, because Esau Edom is the, the physical counterpart of Satan, man. Okay, these, these are his children, man. 
Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Because this man has a crafty tongue, man. And like I just stated about a minute ago, he cannot tell the truth to save his life, man. Hey, look, man, let me, let me, let me make it clear to you. A lie is the truth to this man. And the truth is a lie. A lie is the truth to this man, and a truth is the lie, man. Why do you think he's going so hard and giving us strikes on our channels? Okay? Uh, and amongst other things, man. You see all this stuff that's happening, man? All these dra draconian measures, man. This man is the devil, man. But let's keep on going, with, man. Okay? He's, he's, a, he's a physical counterpart of Satan, man. He's a Satan's children, man. Let's jump back to Psalms real quick. Psalms chapter 10, and I'm going to read verse 7, and it reads this. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit. Okay, this man's mouth is full of cursing and deceit. Matter of fact, real quick, let's look up that word deceit, man. Let's look up that word deceit. 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 All right, it says the action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth the action or practice of deceiving someone by concealing or misrepresenting the truth okay and what word is that again deceit that's what it means and that man's a master at it psalms chapter 10 verse 7 again his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Like I said, he's the master of it, man. You saw in the, in the uh, cartoon clip, it's supposed to be comical. It's supposed to be funny. But it's the truth. It's the blunt truth, man. Right before your eyes, man. Like we always state, man. This man gives you his agendas and his TV series, his movies, all types of stuff, man. It'd be right, right in front of your face, man. Okay? But let's keep on going. Let's keep on going. That's his M.O., man. Uh, Colossians. Let's jump to Colossians real quick. Colossians chapter 2. And let's read verse 8 and it reads this. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Beware lest any man spoil you, Esau, Edom, through philosophy and vain deceit. And that word vain goes back to uh, producing no cause. Useless, man. Okay, look these words up, man. Vain deceit. Deceitful, man. Okay, so he's, he's, he's giving you useless uh, uh, philosophies that, admit, that have no, uh, no, no, uh, uh, no worth, man. And he's deceiving you, man. Okay, misrepresenting the truth, man, which is all lies, man. Beware at least any man spoil you through philosophies because his philosophy, his ways of life is complete uh, 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 the path to death, man. Darkness, man. Because this man cannot get right because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh made him to be crooked, made him to be negative, made him to be the wicked, man. He can't get right, man. So anybody that's following Esau, Edom, the wicked, is just, uh, just going to fall into a pit, man. It's going to get judged, man. Okay? And if you're following the wicked, you're wicked, man. Beware, beware at least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men that's right man this is this is a tradition of of, of men w wicked men at that okay so we want to follow yahweh shim yahweh shai man after the rudiments of the world because the world is, is, is a, a flourishing in wickedness man so you don't want to be a lover or in this world man you want to root yourself out this world. And as we always say, yes, we have to work. We have to pay bills. We have to keep clothes on our back, take care of our kids, etc. So we have to do that aspect as far as the world. But for us to be in the world, no, we have to take ourselves out of the world. We need to be in the spirit constantly, man. After the rudiments of the world and not after Hamashiach. So we're, to, we're supposed to be like minded. One, with Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, man? Period, man. Not what Esau Edom. Because Esau Edom is the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, man. This man's MO is nothing but wickedness, mischief, vain, fraud, deceit, murder, rape, rob, pillage, all that, man. This man is is is, is a, a natural born killer, man, like the movie. A natural born killer. Another movie that 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 uh another movie that is clearly 
uh, 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 showing forth who he is, man. Okay, well, let's jump. Let's jump back to Psalms real quick. Okay, give me one second. <clears throat> give me one second, Israel. Psalms one hundred one. Okay, Psalms one hundred one. And we're going to read verse seven, and it reads this: He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies, and who's the master of that? Esau, Edom. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. Okay, so they're not going to be in in in, in the uh, uh, the congreg the congregation of the godly man. They're they're profane, and what does that word profane go back to? Outside the temple. That's what that's what Yahabashim is talking about right now. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. So we're not supposed to be amongst these cave gorillas, man. And I'm going to state it again. Yes, we have to work. Yes, we have to go to the grocery store and amongst other things. And they're going to be there. But as far as being friends with these damn cave gorillas, never trust thine enemies. You're not supposed to be holding hand in hand. What does the scripture say, man? Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. And if you if you join hand in hand with the wicked, you're going to be punished with them, with them man. Okay, and this this is a beautiful saying with David, man. Okay, because David was looking after uh, he was um a uh, a uh, uh, a man after the Most High's heart, man. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. And we need to have that concept, those traits, those characteristics, man. Okay, that's gonna make us uh uh. Uh, uh, well, that's going to be well pleased in the in the Azi Haba Shimi All right, this is Mark chapter seven. I'm gonna get straight to the point. If y'all want to, y'all can go back and read this. I think it start off at verse uh, sixteen, but I'm gonna start off at verse twenty. I'm gonna get straight to the point on this. Okay. All right, so this is Mark chapter seven, starting off at verse twenty, and then at twenty-three, and it reads this. And he said, "This is Yahweh Shah talking." And he said, "That which cometh out of the man, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man." So, like we said, man, Esau Edom is, is profane outside the temple. He's wicked, man. He's filthy, man. He's a beast, a savage. Verse twenty-one: For from within. For from within, out of the heart of men, which is your mind, your la'ab, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murderers, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, uh, uh, salakia, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile it and defile the man and this clearly describes esau edom and this is this is a, a clear straight to the point uh, uh scriptures man okay this describes esau edom to a t and also describes two-thirds of our people and why do i say that because two-thirds of our people have taken the customs of the heathen heathen mainly esau edom for from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murderers, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. And the main man defiled that was created to do these things and, 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 and bring him and, and make him flourish upon the earth is Esau Edom. So let's close out here, man, because this is what you're seeing happening right now. Okay, this is what you're seeing happening right now. This is what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is doing right now. This is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 19, and it reads this. The lip of truth shall be established forever. The lip of truth shall be established forever. But a lying tongue is but for a moment. So the wicked is not going to reign forever. The wicked is literally being brought down right now before your eyes. History in the making. Welcome to the end of the world. So Lord willing, I hope and I pray that this is edifying to the hopeful elect. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.